Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Fate. This time, off screen, I uh... What the hell, what, what did I do? I got a fishing pole, so we're, we're going fishing. I'm not, I'm not going to do tons of fishing, I'll probably do most of my fishing off screen. Uh, but I'll probably do a few. Every time we come across a new one, I'll probably do something. Because, uh, I, I believe that fishing allows you to get the item that will transform your dog for you. And I'd like to see what you can do with a transformed dog. Well, if it's going to take this long every time, I can definitely guarantee you that I'm not going to do a lot of fishing on screen. In fact, I was going to do, like, three fishing things, but the second one is just taking forever. So I'll probably only just do two. Uh, let's see here. I might, I might only even do one. This is taking way too long. Set hook. Anything? No. Okay. Yep. We're just, we're just gonna do one. So this only increases it for a little bit though, right? Yeah. Is there anything that uh, changes them permanently? Because I don't really care about like temporary increases because that's too much... Uh, too much work. If I'm being completely honest. Alright, let's look at our journal not our journal, our quest. Quest. Alright, so he is level three. This is, there's still someone supposed to be on level one. Uh, and then level four. Okay. So basically, level two has nothing in it for us. Let's go on down to the next level. Now I hope that you don't have to like keep going down and down and down. Uh, every single time that you leave, because I know it sucked to like have to like dive down 40 levels every single time. Like, hopefully they have like teleportation areas or something. All right, cool thing that I have noticed at least is that they are keep your map. Well, like I've completely shut the game off since the last time that we played and uh, loaded the game anew. And not only is the map gone, but it also uh, stay. It also looks like most of the enemies are dead as well. I mean, there might be some new ones, but they're not. Let's go down, because I, I I'm not gonna be able to find. I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find those stupid, uh, that stupid belt or whatever that uh, the one they need. Do those just come up and hurt me? I, I, I don't know. Well, let's go in here. What's the worst that could happen? You have gained an experience. That's right. Skill. Leveling on up. Identify scroll. Don't mind if I do get that. All right. So first things first. Can you go above ten? You can. This is good to know. Okay. So, okay, so that's chilling there. This is 2-7, this is 2-7. Alright, so let's level up. And I think that, for the time being, I'm just going to pull one of these. More HP, more uh, kick you in the face, more stuff like that. So I will probably always... What does this do again? Yeah, this, uh... I only get two this time. But let's go ahead, upgrade Essentially, I'm trying to make a fairly tanky kind of character. That's uh, that's always my favorite. My sword and board style is the style that I am most comfortable with. When I play games, I like being a tank. Just because I like uh, watching people just kind of crumble before me as they just, just do damage upon damage upon damage and nothing happens. They're like, oh my god, his HP is not going down. I'm like, that's right. coming for me. Well, let's, let's identify this, then. Three to six versus two to seven. So that's D6 plus one. So that means on average, it's going to be doing three and a half. Well, this is just going to be doing, uh, this be doing a little bit more than three and a half, right? Let's see, three. So before, no, so this one is still a little bit better. Though this one does have the dexterity bonus thing, but not good enough. Alright, there we go. 
but it was close. It was worth, it was worth investigating. I got some armor finally. That's nice. Good little set of leather armor. All right, take you down. And of course, I'm just gonna go and destroy all these guys. Like, oh, there's that goblin. I don't know where he ran off to, but uh, I found him again. I like how much darker the second level appears to be. Like, the first level was like, oh yeah, I mean, it's the first level. This is like, we are surrounded in the deepest, darkest uh, bounds of this dungeon. Makes me wonder what the. Ooh, what the heck? Oh, it's very easy to do that, but it's not a love save. Let's just collect everything. There's another light hand axe. I'll take it. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Just, I mean, I could leave it. You are right. You are right about that, but I am not about that life. I actually picked that up. There it is. Alright, so. 4 to 6, slow. 3 to 6, 3 to 6. That's a 5. This is a 2. But it's got some good stats on there, but are they good enough stats? Ah. You know what? I'm gonna keep it for now. It's not been identified. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Uh, this is it's slow, but it's better. But then I got the bonus. Let's 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 let's, let's just do this. It was a tough to that was a tough choice. I really thought about keeping that. I'm gonna do this a lot because I'm gonna spec hard into my sword because I really. Like, I love the sword and board uh, features, and of that, I, I enjoy the board slightly less than the sword. Like, yeah, hammer and sword, I mean, uh, hammer and shield, uh, hammer and board, whatever. It, uh, that's what I was trying to say. It's nice, but I just, I love swords. Always have. Even got, I mean, fake, like, you know, Renaissance Fair swords. Uh, but I still have them, which is more than some people can say that they spent their hard-earned money on as a team. But not me. Every time I went to Renaissance Fair, I would pick up some kind of sharp object that could be used to hurt somebody if I was someone who actually wanted to hurt somebody. I'm not, uh, thankfully. But, uh, it, it's, always, it's always there's a possibility. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing kind of a terrible job exploring. Like, I'm just kind of going. I'm just kind of wandering around more than anything when it comes to uh, exploring. Like that, that's my style of exploring. Uh, look at that. There you go. Catch my first spell. It was the slow spell. Kind of, kind of boring. You know what I need to do? Let's put. Let's, first off, let's use this minor, minor health potion. Oh my doggo. Then let's drop this bad boy right here. We got a gem. I forgot to look at this gem. Eh, it's okay. Probably not going to use it all that often. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what's considered like a good gem and what's not. Uh, I have a feeling that most of what I'm going to pick up right now are not going to be fantastic gems. But I don't know if they're necessarily bad gems. Like, how important is know HP recovery and what does it actually mean by HP recovery because so far I haven't actually seen my HP recover except for when I use health potions um, are there other times that that, that can happen I, I don't know like is there just a standing HP recovery rate perhaps in or out of dungeons I don't think so there, there could be but I just I don't think so there's so, so many things about this game that I'm like, I, I don't know. Oh, why are you running? Why are you running? Bro, get back here! There you go. I'm not gonna let him, like, get out of my way. Alright. Uh, did I pick up that item? I must have must picked up that item. Already been over here? I must have. I think you got a good sport. There's a goblin here. I probably want to do something about that. I am going to go ahead and, and do 
use this. There we go. It's like, why can't I use it? Oh, clicking the wrong key or wrong uh, mouse button. How are you all doing today? Today is actually my last day of break, which is a little sad because it's gonna be seven days on for me next. Three days off was really nice, but seven days on is, is less that nice. But that's why I'm recording all these in advance. This isn't going to be going up until uh, actually a week from when I'm recording it. So if uh, if you guys gave me any advice at all during the last episode, I ain't gonna see it. I apologize for that, but uh, I just I'm not I'm not 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 even here. Not even here. We get we get decent gold. I feel like I mean maybe we don't actually have decent gold, but I can't help but feeling like this is a fair amount of gold. A fair amount of gold that I can be proud of. You know what? I don't think uh, I'll worry about when I go back. I'm thinking about just canceling the quest for that uh, first level item because I I don't know where it's gonna be. I've got no clue where it could possibly be at, so I don't, I don't even know if I want to like worry about carrying that and having to take up a, a quest slot or what. Now I am going to be one of those more completionist type guys. I'm going to try to like clear out every level of the dungeon as we play through it. May not always happen, of course, but darn it, because I'm not going to try. I, uh, part of me wants to, oh yeah, I got a buckler a while ago, I want to see if that's any better, it is worse. Uh, I've always kind of wanted to do just like a dungeon crawl game like this, um, for like Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know why I never have. Um, I just, I think, I think it would be fun, where like you're just like sent down, is it, can I, can I click on this? This is full of gold. Uh, but I would love to just, like, like, do one where the players are, like, like, you just tell the players up front, like, hey, you guys, there's this mine that the town wants cleared out. Go to it. That's it. Like, there's not even a good story. Like, maybe we'll, we'll make a compelling story once we get down there. Well, yeah, like, you know, like, one one level would just be full of nothing but goblins. And then maybe level up to that, hobgoblin masters. And then after that, maybe get some bugbears sprinkled in. Uh, I just, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think it'd even be fun to play in it. Because that way you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, you role You cannot playing. carry anymore. Alright, one second. Let's see what we're going to do. Give all this crap to my dog here. You know what's nice? Not having to worry about mana potions. Hey oh Don't have any rings yet. Don't actually have a worthwhile uh, uh, necklace either. I, I literally am just you know what? Let's go ahead and socket that up. Boom. Uh is there a way to just like, can I just shift click them over? Yeah, sorry. Does that do anything? Oh, my dog uses. Boom. My dog's got a gold chain. Alright, so we're gonna do that, and then we are going to. Send Pet to town. Your pet has departed. Your pet has departed. That's okay. I'm not using my pet all that much anyways. Not yet. I mean, I'm sure I will later. And like, when I fight bosses, I want to have them around for sure. But, uh, I'll pick that up. Is that, is that too heated? I mean, I don't know. Your pet has returned. 400 gold. Let's see here. Is it? It is one. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some of this. You ought to go with the spear, it's a little bit less, it's a, it's a wider range of damage, but it's got the potential for so much more. Plus I look like these cool death caps. 
Like, is that isn't that what everyone wants? It still looks like death caps? Look at that. 13 damage. 12 damage. 15 damage. And my defense is up. So like, really, it, it's just it's just nice. It's just nice. All together. Does it uh do you let's see character? Does it anywhere show you like your range of actual damage? Like, yeah, like that's what it can do, but like what can what can I do? Good boy, hold it. I'm almost leveled up. I was about to use a uh, uh, potion, but I'm like, why use a potion now? You're almost at level what, five, four. You're almost at the next level. You'll just get full HP when you do that instead. You know? So we know where the end is there. So now we just gotta go uh, explore more of this dungeon. And there is one. On the oh, well, one quest because he's not. Ooh, scary. Not scary. Take this guy out. Oh, yeah. Take it. Get it. Suck on this spear. I wonder how big this floor is. Like, I wonder, like, I feel like I can kind of see the edges of the uh, expanse that I'm using here. But, uh, you know, I'm not quite sure. Uh, wait, can you not go? Okay, no. Nope. So I gotta go back, and uh, we're gonna we're, we're we're trying to get over here. Nope. Okay, I was I was wondering, I was like, is this is this game smart enough to just if I click on the map to send me all the way through? It was not. It was not at all. Well, that's okay. Now, the game seems to run a little clunky for me, and I don't know if that's because it's an old game running on a new computer. And it's just having some weird frame rate issues, or if, like, because I'm trying to run it on, like, max settings, if for whatever reason my computer can't handle that while it's recording. It's not the greatest computer that I'm recording on. Uh, John, what the heck are you doing? Why did you follow the current path? Sorry. I got to talking, and then I forgot where the heck I was. But, it, uh,. It does seem a little, little clunky while I'm recording this. Let me know if it looks worse than it normally should be. It could be that this is just how the game looked the entire time. And I don't know that because I've never, never played the game. I don't know. I don't know. You watch. I'm going to end up loving these style of games from now on. And then you guys are going to have to put up with not only Binding of Isaac every single, you know, week. But you'll also have to put up with this or Torchlight or Diablo or something. Actually, I have been playing some Diablo. I'm playing some uh, Diablo 3 lately as well. That game is a smooth one. I gotta say, they, they knew what they were doing when they made that game. I know a lot of people uh, have complaints about it, but I never finished uh, one or two, so I don't have any complaints about it. I just think it's a fun, fun game. I'm actually playing through as a mage right now because I've never done, never done that game as a mage. I've always done it as a barbarian, and they're they're fun, and I love the demon and the smashing of the demon. But I'm like, listen, listen, try something outside of your normal experience, man. Try something outside of your normal experience, and things could change. Let's delve deeper. Oh, okay. So the alt key allows us to see the demon you may have forgotten on the ground. Well, let's go get some fame. I like this floor. Oh, I love it. We're, we're, we're about to like, yeah, I was going to say, we're about to like, just start leveling up like crazy. Not that one. Click the level up. Alrighty, so, two of these. So here's what we're going to do. Whatever weapon I'm currently wielding is going to get a point. I'm going to do that instead. And uh, I'll probably uh, go between shield and crit. Just because that's, I mean, that's how I am. You don't want to... I, I kind of like the music on this level too. It's got a, a nice, like, hauntingness to it. I don't know 
don't know why there's piles of leaves, I think that's what these are, like, are there leaves or trees down this far? I mean, there's clearly mushrooms. I need you an antidote, because the antidote was on my quick thought or something. I didn't put you there. Lots of chests on this uh, on this level. I'm liking that. All right, so this guy supposedly has a rat army. Hopefully, holding like level up. Critical strike, 20 damage. Also, that good lord, they did so much damage to that dog. There's a big old spider. Kill it! Kill it with fire! I'm hoping that I get some more wings and stuff like that. Yeah, give me level 1 mod. That's what I'm talking about. Some of these? Get them done? Yeah, I think, uh, I think after this I'm gonna go back up to the first level. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go back into the first level and uh, just hold down Alt. Now that I know that Alt will reveal everything that you missed, hopefully I'll be able to just walk around and, and try to find it that way. There's, just, there's so many areas. I just don't know where to go. Yo, man, maybe I need to do more with my decks because I'm missing a lot of my shots. Low spell, already know it. It's the, literally the one spell that I know. Take that. Take it. Forest imps. This is a little strong. Heal up. Get, get back here. Hold on, you're supposed to be faster than me. Oh my gosh, this guy's running. There we go. Sorry, I forgot that I had the slow spell. Let's see if the saber is significantly better. 3 to 9 versus 1 to 10. You know what? 3 to 9, in my mind, is better. So I'm going to allow it. And I think it's faster as well. Like your your normal sword class. Spear, okay. There we go. Sorry, it uh, it didn't want to get off of that for me. Let's see. I can't. I think I kind of like the bigger maps. So if you hold down Alt, right, it'll show you anything that you you missed. Oh, this was just a dead end. I didn't think this was a dead end, y'all. My bad. Sorry to have wasted your time. Let's run. I forgot that you could run. I should have ran that guy down. Now with the saber, I feel I'm feeling more confident. I feel like I'm gonna my my damage variance not being so high is gonna like really help me out. Like look at that. Look at that critical strike. You guys see that? That was amazing. 28 damage. 28 damage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It is sometimes a little easy to like lose track of your pet. Do you guys have that problem when you're playing this game? Get up. I lost it. I did. I did. So 10 versus 9. I don't know why this one is just one stronger, but whatever. It's gonna be really annoying. Now I'm gonna be like, well, I gotta check it just to be safe. Oh, sorry, that, that crit was, was unnecessary. It didn't even do nothing. This is tough. There you are. 
So, sometimes, sometimes I lose like my animal and I go look for him, and I'm like, where, where could he have gone on? One second, we can go fishing in this lava. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. I mean, this is lava, right? It's not just like amber co colored. Let's see here. What'd we get? What'd we get? Nothing. That doesn't look like anything to me. Saw, saw the exclamation point. Don't you? Yeah, you get him. You get him, dog. Nice. Good job. This is this is where the fun of this game's at, you guys. I know you don't know it yet, but sitting here forever, just, just trying to fish, this is where it is at. Like, I, I do want to figure out what's in there, but, like, not going to take forever. That's, that's still not quite good enough. Uh, do we need to have this open the ship? Your pet has departed. Half a minute. You know, it's about the same. Got man, maybe I need to work on my deck stuff. Like, I'm missing a lot. Missing more than I think. A I trap should be. has been sprung. There was a trap there, you guys. Got to be careful about them traps. I'm not a rogue though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna blame it on that. Your pet has returned. Nice. Nice. So it must, uh, it, it must take, like, ten seconds per floor that you're on in order for them to come back. Well, third floor took 30 seconds. Last floor took me 20 seconds to, to get him back. That's all I can think of. Oh, hey, there's some gold up here. hey -o. Now, I like that these uh, people have set up tables and chairs down here, as well as just massive amounts of... Uh, you know, casps for beer. Okay, this, this might be it. I need to, I need to use my, my potion. I'm a little afraid that I'm going to die. I don't know what happens when you die in this game, but I'm too stubborn to go back to town. Or should I be? I don't know. I feel like maybe this game should just give you more, uh, more health like, I've got tons of mana potions, but you know what I don't need or want? Mana potions. But I've got, like, next to no health potions so far. What is this? Uh, no Because, not, not, not a health potion. It's not something useful to me, in the least bit. I thought this guy was a slime carrying a shield. And I was like, oh gosh, they've learned. Your pet has increased in power. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Holden. Now this looks like something. Oh, look at all these slimes. Look at all these slimes. Look at all these really difficult slimes. Also, these rats are like... Usually powerful. Oh gosh. Uh, Your pet has been transformed. Get it. I'm gonna let you maybe take. Oh gosh. You have completed the quest. Nice. Good. I am gonna go back after this. Thing. All right. So let's. Uh, Got an item here. Create a town portal. You step into the portal. Thank you. I figured I was stepping into that portal, but I wasn't too sure, so I'm glad that you told me. Hmm, you do that? Oh, 
that, that's all it does. Well, do, do we recover here at all? Like, can we recover here? Is that is that a thing that can happen? Okay, not you. Sorry, I kind of lost track of who I was. Let's go find the owner of this quest. This is down here? Maybe, maybe it's uh, up in this direction. I'm looking at all the little dots, and I'm like, which of these little dots is the dot that I need to go to? Ah, oh, it's this guy. It's Friar Tuck. Hello. Hello. A lot of gold. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna call that good for now. I'm gonna uh, spend some downtime uh, stocking up. Uh, and yeah, just doing stuff. I don't know. So, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, please, uh, please uh, let me know. Uh, if you guys aren't liking what you're seeing, also let me know this. Uh, if you guys want to see more, it's Tuesday, Thursdays until we finish this game. So y'all just keep on keeping on for me. Uh, and until next time, I hope each and every one of you take it easy and have a couple of wonderful, wonderful days. Uh, goodbye.